Hello everyone. In this video of mensuration, we shall take up few questions related to surface area of a right circular cylinder. Let us revise the formulas first. Total surface area of cylinder is equal to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. Further, we can take 2 pi r common and we will write in bracket r plus h. Now, we know that 2 r is equal to diameter. So, we can also write pi d in bracket r plus h. Now, curved surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi r h or we can also say circumference of the base into height. Now, let's take up question number 1. A metallic pipe is 0.7 cm thick. Inner radius of the pipe is 3.5 cm and length is 5 dm. Find its total surface area. So, given in this question, a metallic pipe having thickness that is capital R minus small r is equal to 0.7 cm. Now, inner radius that is small r is equal to 3.5 cm. Length that is h is equal to 5 dm which is equal to 5 into 10 we can say 50 cm. To find the total surface area of the metallic pipe. Now, let's start with the solution. Since thickness is equal to 0.7 cm, we can say outer radius minus inner radius is equal to 0.7 cm. Further, outer radius is equal to 0.7 plus inner radius that is small r which is equal to 0.7 plus 3.5 which is equal to 4.2 cm. Now, the total surface area of the metallic pipe is equal to outer curved surface area of the cylinder plus inner curved surface area of the cylinder plus area of the two ribs which is outer area minus inner area. Therefore, we can say total surface area is equal to 2 pi capital R H plus 2 pi small r h plus 2 pi in bracket capital R square minus small r square. Now, this r square minus r square actually denotes the outer area minus the inner area. Now, taking 2 pi common, we get 2 pi further in bracket capital R H plus small r h plus capital R square minus small r square in bracket. Now, further we will write 2 pi, we will make big brackets and then take h common and we will write h in bracket capital R plus small r plus again bracket capital R square minus small r square and bracket close. Now, we shall substitute the values. We will write 2 into 22 by 7 in bracket 50, again bracket 4.2 plus 3.5 plus in bracket 4.2 square minus 3.5 square. Now, this 4.2 square minus 3.5 square we shall solve using identity 3. That is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. This will simplify our calculations. So, we will write 2 into 22 by 7 in bracket 50 into 7.7 plus 4.2 plus 3.5 in bracket into again a bracket 4.2 minus 3.5. Further, we will solve and write 2 into 22 by 7 in bracket 385 plus 7.7 .7 into 0 0.7 which is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 in bracket 385 plus 5.39 which is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into 390.39 is equal to 2453.88 centimeter square. So, we can say the total surface area of the cylinder is equal to 2453.88 centimeter square. Now, let's take up question number 2. A cylinder of curved surface area 1250 meter square is formed from a rectangular metallic sheet. Find the dimensions of the rectangular sheet if its length is double its breadth. So, given in this question, curved surface area of the cylinder 
is equal to 1250 meters square and the length of the rectangular metallic sheet is double its breadth. To find dimensions of rectangular sheet that is length and breadth. So let's start with the solution now. Let the breadth be x meters and length is equal to 2x meters because it was given to us length is double its breadth. Now length of the rectangle is equal to circumference of the cylinder that is 2x is equal to 2 pi r. Again the breadth of the rectangle is equal to height of the cylinder that is x is equal to h. Now curved surface area is equal to 1250 meter square. This implies 2 pi r h is equal to 1250. Now we shall substitute the values. We will write 2x into x is equal to 1250. So 2x square is equal to 1250. So x square is equal to 1250 upon 2 which is equal to 625. Further, x is equal to root of 625, that is 25 meters. So, we can say x is equal to 25 meters. Hence, breadth of the rectangular sheet is, which was equal to x is equal to 25 meters and length of the rectangular sheet, which was 2x is equal to 2 into 25, which is equal to 50 meters. Now, let's take up question number 3. Diameter and the length of a roller are 84 centimeter and 120 centimeter respectively. In how many revolutions can the roller level the playground of area 1584 meters square? So given in this question, diameter that is small d is equal to 84 centimeter, radius is equal to half of diameter which is equal to 84 upon 2 which is equal to 42 centimeter. Length of the roller is equal to height, which is equal to 120 centimeter. And area of the playground is given to us 1584 meter square. And we have to find the number of revolutions required to level the playground. Now let's start with the solution. Curved surface area covered in one revolution is equal to 2 pi r h which is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into 42 into 120, which is equal to 31,680 centimeters square. Now we have to convert into meter square. So we shall divide by 100 into 100 and we will get 3.168 meter square. Again, number of revolutions into curved surface area covered in one revolution is equal to total area of playground to be leveled. Therefore, we can say number of revolutions is equal to total area to be leveled upon curved surface area covered in one revolution, which is equal to 1584 upon 3.168, which is equal to 500 revolutions. So, we can say number of revolutions required to level this playground area is equal to 500. So hope you have understood these three questions. Thank you everyone.